average time to graduate from Oregon State University with a bachelor's degree in 2008 was 4.68 years. If the standard deviation is one and a half years, find the probability that a random sample of 40 graduates from Oregon State finish between four and five years. All right, so this is a very important uh, question here. Um, the idea in this problem is that we're trying to find the probability that a random sample of 40 graduates finish between four and five years. So of course, if we're talking about a random sample of 40 graduates finishing between four and five years, um, even though they didn't say it, they were talking about the average time for them to finish, right? Because of course, you know, each person would finish at an individual length of time, and so we're looking for the average length of time for them to finish to be between four and five years. So that's kind of important. If it doesn't say that, um, we wouldn't be justified in doing what we're about to do. What we're about to do is actually use the bell curve to solve the problem because I'm going to assume that this sample size of 40 is large enough to assume the central limit theorem kicks in. We'll be able to say that the sample mean completion time for these 40 people has a normal distribution. So we're going to use that mean of 4.68 years, that standard deviation, and the sample size of 40 to solve the problem using a bell curve. So let me go ahead and draw the bell curve and label the information that we have in the problem. Okay, so here's my bell curve. And I'm going to label an axis down here. I'm going to call this axis X bar because we're going to be dealing with X bar. Now they tell us in the problem that the mean time to complete the degree is 4.6 year, eight years, 4.68 years, and the standard deviation they say is normally one and a half years. But that's a standard deviation for an individual student who completes the program. What we're looking for is a standard deviation for a group of 40 students. So we're going to divide that by the square root of 40. That's how we get the standard deviation for x bar, which is based on a sample of 40 students. Now from there, what we're going to do is enter that mean in the center of our drawing here, 4.68. And then from there, what we're going to do is to take the number they asked us about, which is the probability they finish between four and five years, and we're going to put that on the drawing as well. So four and five years is here. So between four and five years means the area we're looking for, which corresponds to the probability we're looking for, is the area between four and five. Okay, so we need to figure out the area here so we can get our answer to the probability question. And to use our calculator to do that, we're gonna do second bars. Okay, and what we're gonna do is take option number two. This is the option that says normal CDF. And with that in our calculator, we want to always give it the same information. We want to give it the left number, the right number, the mean, and the standard deviation. Now in this case, what we're going to do is to enter for our left number, the left start of the shaded region, we're going to enter 4, all the way up to the right number, which is the right start, the right end point, sorry, of the shaded region, which would be 5. And then we're going to give it the mean. The mean is given there as 4.68. And then we're going to do the standard deviation. And again, taking into account our adjustments since we're dealing with x bar and not just simply a single student x, right? We're dealing with 40 students. So we're going to take that standard deviation and divide it by the square root of 40. So we're going to have 1.5 divided by the square root of 40. All right, so that's it. That's our, our information for the calculator. So let's go ahead and enter that in and see what we come up with. Okay, so we're going to turn on the calculator. We're going to press second bars, take option number two, give it the left number four, comma, the right number five, comma, 4.68, 4.68, comma, the one and a half, 1.5, divided by the square root of 40. So the square root is there, 40 close up that parenthesis and then close it up one more time for the big parenthesis and when you're done you hit enter you'll find the answer is 90.93 percent right so as a decimal 0 0.9093 which is the same as 90.93 percent so essentially 90.93 percent of groups of 40 will finish between four and five years on average. So if you look at a random selection of 40 students from Oregon State University, you'll find that 90.9% of the time, um, that group on average will finish between four and five years. So that's your answer to the problem.